A Clash of Titans. Southwest and Elliot Faceoff. Written by Rachel Maddow from The Rachel Maddow Show. Southwest Airlines. A beloved American airline known for low fares and friendly service. But behind the scenes, a battle was brewing. Elliott Investment Management, a powerful activist investor, had taken a stake in Southwest. Elliott was not happy. They thought Southwest could do better. Elliott criticized Southwest's management. They wanted changes. They pushed for improvements in operations and financial performance. This clash of visions created tension. Southwest initially resisted Elliott's pressure. They defended their track record. The conflict made headlines. Investors and industry experts watched closely. Would Southwest give in to Elliott's demands, or would they stand their ground? The answer was somewhere in between. The Negotiating Table, Seeking Common Ground Southwest and Elliott eventually agreed to talk. They entered into negotiations. Both sides had something to gain from a resolution. Elliott wanted to see Southwest thrive and increase its value. Southwest needed to address the concerns raised by a major investor. The negotiations were complex. Each side had its own priorities and demands. Southwest wanted to maintain its independence. Elliott wanted to see significant changes. Months of discussions and back and forth followed. Finally, a breakthrough. The two sides reached a truce, a settlement. This agreement signaled a new chapter in their relationship. It promised changes for Southwest and appeased Elliott, at least for now. Southwest Shifts Gears Policy Changes Take Flight As part of the truce, Southwest agreed to implement some significant changes. These changes were designed to address some of Elliott's key concerns and improve the overall functioning of the airline. One major change involved the airline's board of directors. This was a crucial step in ensuring better governance and oversight. Southwest agreed to add new independent directors to its board. These new members were expected to bring a wealth of experience and fresh perspectives. This move aimed to bring fresh perspectives and expertise to the boardroom, fostering innovative ideas and strategies. In addition to changes in the boardroom, Southwest also committed to reviewing its operational efficiency. This was a critical area that needed attention. Elliott had argued that Southwest could significantly improve its on-time performance and baggage handling processes. These were areas where the airline had faced criticism. By focusing on these operational areas, Southwest could potentially reduce costs and improve customer satisfaction. This would not only enhance the customer experience, but also boost the airline's reputation. Another critical area of change involved the airline's financial strategy. This was a point of contention that needed to be addressed. Elliott had pushed Southwest to consider returning more capital to shareholders. This was seen as a way to increase shareholder value. This could be done through dividends or share buybacks, both of which were strategies to reward shareholders. Southwest agreed to review its capital allocation policies, ensuring that they were aligned with the best interests of the shareholders and the long-term growth of the company. Elliott's Blueprint, a new direction for Southwest. Elliott, throughout the process, outlined its vision for Southwest. They presented a comprehensive plan that aimed to transform the airline's future. They believed the airline had untapped potential. This potential, according to Elliott, could be harnessed through strategic initiatives and innovative approaches. Elliott's framework focused on long-term value creation. They emphasized that short-term gains should not overshadow the importance of sustainable growth. They emphasized the importance of operational excellence in the airline industry. This included not only maintaining high standards, but also continuously improving processes. This meant running a tight ship, minimizing delays, and maximizing efficiency. Ensuring timely departures and arrivals was crucial for customer satisfaction and operational success. Elliott also stressed the need for a strong financial position. They believed that financial health was the backbone of any successful company. They wanted Southwest to have a healthy balance sheet and generate strong cash flow. This financial stability would enable the airline to make strategic investments. This would allow the airline to invest in growth opportunities and weather economic downturns. By being financially robust, Southwest could expand its operations and enhance its market presence. Finally, Elliott believed in the importance of shareholder returns. They argued that rewarding shareholders was essential for maintaining investor confidence and support. They argued that a company's primary responsibility is to its owners, the shareholders. By prioritizing shareholder returns, Southwest could ensure long-term loyalty and investment. 
By returning profits to shareholders, Southwest could attract and retain investors. This in turn would provide the capital needed for future growth and innovation, securing the airline's position in the competitive market. Section 5. Boardroom. Shakeup. Fresh faces, fresh perspectives. The addition of new independent directors was significant. It marked a shift in the power dynamics within Southwest. The new board members brought with them a wealth of experience. They came from diverse backgrounds in aviation, finance, and management. This infusion of new blood was expected to shake things up. The new directors would bring fresh perspectives to board discussions. They would challenge the status quo and hold management accountable. The board shakeup was seen by some as a victory for Elliott. It gave the activist investor more influence over Southwest's strategic direction. However, it also had the potential to benefit all stakeholders if the new directors could help the airline reach its full potential. Section 6. The Power of the Shareholder Elliott's influence grows. The Southwest Elliott saga highlighted the growing power of activist investors. These investors are not afraid to use their financial muscle to push for change. They see themselves as agents of change, holding companies accountable to their shareholders. Elliott's involvement in Southwest demonstrated that even iconic companies are not immune to activist pressure. When a company's performance lags or its strategy seems misguided, activist investors like Elliott are ready to pounce. This trend has sparked debates about corporate governance. Some argue that activist investors prioritize short-term profits over long-term value creation. Others believe they play a vital role in holding companies accountable and driving positive change. Section 7. A New Era for Southwest The Long-Term Implications The truce between Southwest and Elliott marked a turning point for the airline. It ushered in a period of uncertainty, but also of potential. The changes implemented as part of the settlement will take time to bear fruit. It remains to be seen whether these changes will be enough to satisfy Elliott in the long run. The activist investor will be watching closely to see if Southwest delivers on its commitments. The airline industry is facing numerous challenges, including rising fuel costs, intense competition, and the ongoing recovery from the pandemic. Southwest's ability to navigate these challenges will depend on its ability to execute its strategy effectively. Section 8. Navigating the skies ahead challenges and opportunities. Despite the truce, Southwest still faces significant challenges. The airline industry is inherently cyclical and subject to external shocks. Fuel prices, a major expense for airlines, are notoriously volatile. Economic downturns can also dampen travel demand. Competition in the airline industry remains fierce. Low-cost carriers and ultra-low-cost carriers continue to put pressure on fares. Legacy carriers are also becoming more competitive on price. To thrive in this environment, Southwest will need to remain agile and adaptable. It must continue to focus on its core strengths, low fares, operational efficiency, and customer service. Section 9. Passengers and Profits. Balancing Competing Priorities. Southwest has always prided itself on its customer-centric approach. The airline has built a loyal following by offering affordable fares and a friendly travel experience. However, the pressure to maximize profits can sometimes conflict with the goal of keeping customers happy. Finding the right balance between these competing priorities will be crucial for Southwest's long-term success. The airline will need to find ways to keep costs down without sacrificing the quality of its product or service. This will require careful planning, efficient operations, and a continued focus on innovation. Section 10, The Truce. A victory for collaboration? The truce between Southwest and Elliott can be seen as a victory for collaboration. This agreement marked a significant moment in the corporate world, showcasing the power of dialogue and mutual understanding. By coming to the negotiating table and finding common ground, both sides were able to avoid a protracted and potentially damaging battle. This not only saved resources, but also preserved the reputations of both entities involved. The settlement may not have been ideal for either party, but it represented a compromise. Compromises are often seen as a sign of weakness, but in this